Italian food. No other cooking brings both compassion and wholesomeness into one cuisine. Then there's caprese salad, a dish so forgettable it was probably nothing more than an afterthought. And yeah, I know, if you have access to high quality organic heirloom tomatoes, the dish is actually quite delicious. And that's great if you're an upper middle class Brentwood yuppie who can afford such fanciness. But for the average Giorgio, it's going to be a little bit harder. But it doesn't have to be that way. Let's turn meh. <laughs> into men. All right, let's jump right into things. We're going to make the pesto. Uh, CRJ, traditional pesto is made in a motor and pestle. Oh yeah, I read about it in Bon Appetit's Guide to Who Gives a Rat's Ass. You're going to have my food processor pesto and love it. Anyway, hypothetical douchey nitpicker taken care of. Let's actually construct it. So I have here four ounces or 110 grams of basil leaves. And yes, I do mean the leaves. Please avoid adding the stems. Uh, hopefully you won't come as many rotten leaves as I'm coming across. All right, up next is a quarter cup of pine nuts. And uh, here's the thing, don't actually roast your pine nuts before adding them. The heat from the pine nuts will cause the basil to wilt and you'll end up with a lumpy sauce. It's gonna be looking like Hulk's toilet bowl on taco night. Three cloves of garlic. One and a half teaspoons of salt. And half a cup of Parmesan cheese. And as this spins around, let's drizzle in one cup of extra virgin olive oil. Scrape down the sides of the bowl. All right, let me get a quick taste test. Tiny bit more salt. Transfer our pesto to a bowl. And uh, here's a little bit of that salt I promised. Oh yeah, much better. Okay, next let's grab two Roma tomatoes. You give them a nice a centimeter thick cut like this. And uh, you can throw the uh, stem part away. And next, fresh mozzarella. You're gonna need about half a pound of fresh mozzarella. And what's this? It comes pre-sliced? Forget sliced bread. The new expression should be the best thing ever since sliced cheese. And what do you know? They're at the exact same thickness I want it. But if you don't have a high IQ like me and getting your mozzarella log pre-cut, just uh, cut them the same uh, width as the tomato. Okay, now we can begin the construction of the caprese. Now it's pretty simple. Take a tomato, take a slice of mozz, tomato, mozz. Yeah, I think you get it. Also give each pair a little bit of space in between. And uh, just to make it a little bit more aesthetically pleasing, I'm gonna alternate in this row. And finally, let's drizzle on our pesto. There we go, folks, a lovely caprese salad that's been improved with the power of pesto. Because, let's be honest, even if you're actually Italian, you'll have to admit, regular caprese salad is kind of mid. You could admit it, your Nona is too old to know how to use YouTube. This has been Chase Cutting Kitchen. I'm CRJ making cooking fun and meaning at this time. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, smash the like button. If you really enjoyed the video, become a subscriber and hit the bell notification icon. I upload every Thursday. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, and support me on Patreon. Oh, oh and uh, here's what actually happened to the leaf. Oh, waste not, want not. <laughs>